Welcome to LH Industrial, but honestly better mental fitness. I found mental fitness a few years ago and it, it changed my life. It's changed my family's life. And now we're bringing it to all of LH Industrial to put it out to the rest of the world. Thank you for joining us. Travis, how do you handle the reality that your closest relationships really don't want you to change? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a great question. How do you handle the reality that your closest relationships don't want you to change? Yeah, this goes back to um, almost the first question of change is scary. Um, and to, I would say to, to honor that. Like it's not something to shame, but I thought like, just like we talked about with the, we invite a contractor in a house and before they're really paying attention, they just start knocking down walls and we'll be like, whoa, 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 what are, you, what are you doing here? Like it's to honor that. Yeah, right. Like this, um, I should approach this thoughtfully. I should approach this respectfully. Like we should all address this in here. Um, people don't want you to change. It, it could be the crabs in the bucket thing. And it's their, they're going to pull you down because then it's going to make them not change. And it's going to make them feel you know bad in competition. It could be that. So let's just, let's just say that's a possibility. And then we'll set that one aside and say, what else could it be? Maybe someone that even that loves you and that wants the best for you could still be resistant to you changing in there. And why might that be? When two people come together, they sort of make these spoken and unspoken agreements. I'm this, you're that. Like, I fit this way, you fit that way. And this is how we work. And then someone changes something, it fundamentally changes the, well, who are you going to be now? Like, what if you become something that no longer works for this relationship? Like, it is scary. Um, it is potentially threatening to the relationship. And I think that's a big part of it, of I like our relationship. I know what it is. I don't know what it would be if this happened over here, right? And and what's most beautiful is when two people go on this journey of change together, right? And they're excited for it and say, man, uh, and we're both committed to finding a way to honor each other in this change and to find a way to make it work. And I think that's beautiful. And a lot of times it happens like one person changes and then the other's kind of like waiting here. Like, okay, I did this and now you got to like come change here. And I'm not saying like one's better than the other, but they're just in different places here, right? And and then they do and maybe they surpass them. They're like, oh crap, no, now I have to, to change. And it's like this awesome, almost friendly competition, right? Like, you know, two friends playing badminton and one, ah, I beat your high score, beat that. And it pushes each other to be better, right? And I think that's the optimal way to be. And we're talking about really deep, intimate relationships that sometimes are financial survival, our emotional survival, maybe our physical survival of uh, our living circumstances depends on this relationship. And so to, to change in this, the other people resist, often resist, because it's felt as threatening. And so the way I would approach it is in a loving way, right? Be like, yeah, I, I, I totally get it. And this is what I'm committed to. I'm committed to being the best version of me. And right now I'm not the best version of me. These things in here aren't the way I want to be in my life. And this is the way that I want to be in my life. So I'm moving there and I'm going to go there and I would love for you to come with me. And if you need some time, I'm going to give you time. And if you want to stay the same, and keep doing the things that, okay, maybe it's okay for you. Maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're able to, to say, okay, for now, but later I want to bring here. Um, uh, there's actually, um, here at LNH, there's, there's quite a few couples and I, I see this a lot, actually. Like I'll work with one, I'll work with one spouse or one person in the relationship and then they change, right? And then the other either becomes threatened by it. Or they'd be like, okay, whatever they're doing, I'm going to do it too. And then the other person like starts growing and changing. And then sometimes then they need to come together and say, all right, well, how do we work in this way? And so uh, it can be an individual journey or it can be a both journey. So can it be rooted in jealousy and crabs in the bucket? Yes. And given uh, given the best circumstances, it's someone that really deeply loves you. Can it also be threatening? Yes, um, because change is scary.